saying, how are you doing guys? Long time no see, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while. As you know, I've been on a long hiatus, but I am back. Anyway, this is a special episode that we're doing on the men who on the men who watch movies. This episode is about the different voice of Mr. Burns. Now, throughout the years, his voice has been changed. Now, you may be asking, why did his voice change? Well, it was a different voice actor back then. There was a different voice actor by then by the name of Christopher Collins. And he was known for voicing Starscream in the cartoon Transformers cartoon show. He was known for voicing Cobra Commander in the G.I. Joe cartoon. He was known as voicing one of the Klingons in Star Trek The Next Generation TV series. And he is known for being on an episode of Seinfeld. So that's a legendary actor, but unfortunately he passed away. But getting to the topic at hand, the reason why I'm talking about this is because, you know, you may be wondering why did Mr. Burns why did Mr. Burns' voice change? It was because of a different voice actor. You know, the the way that Christopher Collins did it was that of a stern leadership voice. It was strong dark, bold, powerful. Um, throughout the years, um, the difference of Mr. the difference between Mr. Burns's voice is so different that after that, Harry Shearer took over and he provided the voice of Mr. Burns, but a very comical way. It was so comical that it was so funny that everyone laughed. Now the difference between Christopher Collins is Mr. Burns' voice, was that it was very, very stern, very, very strong, and very, very different at the time. But now Harry Shearer, who does the voice of Mr. Burns, he does it in the most comical way ever. He is funny, he is brilliant, he is legendary. Now, the reason why there was a different voice actor on The Simpsons back on the Season 1 episodes was because they wanted a different voice actor by the name of Christopher Collins. And at that time, it was so different that, of course, Dan, Cal Dan Castellaneta, who voices Homer Simpson, he uh, wanted to do a voice on Homer Simpson that was different. And he came up with the inspiration by Walter Matthau himself. He is so fantastic. Dan Castellaneta, who voices Homer on The Simpsons TV series, was actually the voice of the genie in one of the sequels of Aladdin to Return of Jafar. That was actually one of the awesome movies ever. However, I do like Robin Williams' take on the genie. I like Dan Castellaneta's version. It's very, very funny. But I will always love and cherish Robin Williams' genie voice. However, I did not see the Will Smith version, but I might see it, and you might get my reaction, and you might get my reaction to it. Anyway, back on topic, the reason why I'm talking about the change of Mr. Burns' voice is because, over the years, his voice changed. Now, it was a different voice actor back then, and of course, it was very different back then, and it was very, very unusual, but it was very, very awesome. But Harry Shear is the voice of Mr. Burns nowadays, but back in those days, it was Christopher Collins, the voice of Starscream, the voice of Cobra Commander, and the voice of other villains that he voiced on various cartoons. Now, uh, the reason why I'm talking about this is because this actor is so legendary, but sadly, Christopher Collins passed away too soon. So, that meant that Harry Shearer took over for the voice of Mr. Burns. 
He made a comical version of Mr. Burns that was funny, yet serious, but of course we remember Christopher Collins for his voiceover roles in cartoons and movies, and he was on an episode of Seinfeld. Rest in peace, good sir. We will miss you. Now, now back at the topic at hand. Uh, the voice for Mo was actually uh, Christopher Collins back in the day. And then after that, it was dubbed by Hank Azaria. Now, this is a different process back then. It was a different process back then because of the uh, unusual uh, stuff that they were doing back then. You know, Homer's voice back then was stern, more authoritative, and it sounded like Walter Matthau, which made sense because in the original Tracy Ullman sketches, that's what the voice sounded like. Dan Castaneda does a wonderful impression of Walter Matthau that is so awesome and so incredible. Now, you may be wondering, who does the voice of Marge Simpson on the Tracy Ullman show? Well, actually, that is none other than Tracy Ullman herself. Yes, Tracy Ullman does a voice for Marge Simpson. And then after the show was in syndication, after the Tracy Ullman show ended, uh, Julie Kavner did the voice for uh, Marge Simpson, Selma Bouvier, and Patty Bouvier, or the two sisters on The Simpsons. And then she, pro then she provided the voice for uh, Marge's mom, of course. Uh, now, in the other seasons of the Simpsons episodes, they made various movie references. In the episode of when Marge is afraid of flying on airplanes, there's a scene in there where young Marge and her mother are walking through a cornfield and they dodge an airplane that's firing at them. That is a direct reference to North by Northwest, one of my favorite movies of all time. And then, of course, the one where Sergeant Bob gets out of prison, called Cape Fear. That is actually a spoof of two other movies. One with Gregory Peck in the black and white version, and then the other one with Robert De Niro. You see, what I'm saying is that there are variations. There is a correlation to the Simpsons episodes. And, of course, you will know about it in time. But the reason why I'm talking about this is because you need to learn the knowledge about the stuff. It's very, very important. Okay, without further ado, before I end this podcast, I'd like to say thank you for watching this. It has been a pleasure doing this podcast with you. Uh, I am substituting for my cousin. He is not coming today. Uh, I'm just a sub friend, of course. But as the lovable cousin that I am, I'm subbing for him. I'm just doing this because, well, I'm doing this out of respect, of course. Because we're business partners and I'm doing this out of the goodness out of my heart. Anyway, take care, you guys. Keep on watching. And remember to watch those noir movies and modern movies. And, of course, if you get a chance to, please watch the original Cape Fear and then watch the remake of Cape Fear and then you will know the difference. Anyway, take care, ladies and gentlemen. This is Movie Man Behind the Scenes here saying, have a good day, God bless, and remember to keep on watching. And remember... So let me know about which Mr. Burns voice you like, Christopher Collins or Harry Shear. Let me know about it, and I'll see you on the next podcast. Take care, and have a wonderful day. Bye, and remember to keep on watching!